Of all the forms of hunting, the one my son Trice is obsessed with most is squirrel hunting. We've had limited success on our own, so this time we brought in the big guns. Squirrel hunting with somebody that actually knows how to squirrel hunt. I think we've done, you've rolled with us and we didn't know what we were doing, so. Mr. Richie Bean over here. How, how long have you been squirrel hunting? 25 years, 25 I guess. Years. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's got mountain cur. And how old is she? Oh, he's four. Okay. What's his name? He's the star of the day. Slick 50 is his name. Slick 50? Yep, Slick 50. I hope you see some. We saw a million this morning. A million and a half. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you catch a deer today? Yeah, I caught one. Okay. Let's see. Go catch a squirrel. Or take one tooth out. Yeah, I'm going to catch a squirrel today. I'm going in the woods back here and going to catch a big one. <laughs> So that one there's probably not even been on the ground yet. It's probably where it's a little early. Mm -hmm. Well, he, well, he bark differently if he gets a visual of one. Yeah. He'll so let you know. Yeah. So right now he's just kind of trying to figure it out. Um, and then once he pinpoints exactly what tree it's up or where he thinks it is, mm -hmm. he'll bark a lot more and he'll just sit down in one spot till you get there. That's so cool. So normally he wouldn't bark around that much before he just started saying, "All right, right here it is." So that's something that probably hadn't even been on the ground yet. <clears throat> she loves it. You can teach us all the secrets today. You look like you know what you're doing. Well, you got that leash on your shoulder. She's the hand. It's like, hey, there's one here. I know, he's like, hey, guys, look. <laughs> Birds. We opted for an afternoon hunt because there was less wind. Hunting with dogs means you let them do their job. Signaling that a squirrel is treed, Slick 50 brought us all over the mountain and down in the hollers looking for a squirrel that would give us a shot. After an hour and a few miles walked, we didn't have any action, so we moved to a different part of the property. Probably went up and probably kept on going. Yeah. We caught one. Look at it. Old possum. I'm gonna go down there and beat on that tree and they won't get to come out. Right. What is, why are you the way that you are? You're gonna hit yourself in the face with that thing. He doesn't realize yet. The more you go down, the more you gotta come back up. My bad. Apparently, once Slick 50 locates a squirrel, it's our job to draw it out. Richie uses a variety of methods to drive the squirrel out. Beating the tree with a rock, scratching the tree with a stick, or shaking vines attached to limbs up high in the tree. This brought our first success. Broke his tail off. Alright, you got it. Alright, so how you carry one? 
take his toe. You break it like this. You get to stick. Oh, I know you carry it. Stick it through his little foot. There you go. You carry my cat. Sure thing. You don't care. Doesn't scare me, so. so where did you shoot him? Uh, tell me you got that on video, all of them. <laughs> well, I got it Steve. right after he got out in the chaos after. We caught us a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Other side. Got him. Blinko! I got it. How oh, small is the other one? Where's the other squirrel? It's up there. You just dropped the other squirrel. <laughs> I dropped the other squirrel. While there isn't a ton of meat in this haul, Trice loved every second of it. And at this point, it's just about cultivating a love for the outdoors. Here's to five more hunts so we can actually eat dinner.